We are not reporters nor journalists. The views, information, or opinions expressed are strictly and solely barber shop talk. We pride ourselves on being uncut, unapologetic, uncompromising, unfiltered, and refuse to conform to anything less than. So if you can't, cut the cap. This ain't the show for you. All right, listen. Let's talk about 50. 50 Cent, we're not talking about no movies, no power, no shows, no nothing. Um, 50 Cent wants to call an end to gun violence in Chicago. Over the weekend from May 3rd to May 6th, there was 31 victims shot within three days. That is crazy. And he wants to be involved with putting an end to this. 31 people shot in three days is tough. Chicago is a very, very um tough place. I don't know what's worth Chicago or New York. But this means 50 is getting involved with politics. How do y'all feel about that? Um, I think this is an excellent PR move for him because of his background. I got shot nine times. Yeah. Um, and who who better to say it than somebody that's from the street? You know, what I'm saying? you know that's some of the best examples. Like you don't want to get the person that's never been through nothing. Like 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 if I go into the jail, like listen, don't gang bang, don't do this, that, or like what the hell do I know? Like that's not something I've been through. But you get somebody that's been through the, you know, that supposedly have been, sh- you know, been shot and a drug dealer, et cetera, et cetera, um, and had that background and is known to make it out. The message might come across a little bit better. I don't think they're going to listen anyway, but it might come across a little bit better for somebody that has that particular background that has some type of chance of sticking. You know what so, I'm saying? So 50 goes to Chicago. He puts something together. He tell people we gotta stop the shooting, we gotta stop the killing. Thirty one people shot. It's bad. Mm-hmm. And then he go tell you to watch his show BMF. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, are you down at fifty and you part of green light? No, no, I'm asking y'all a question. Here? I'm asking y'all a question. <laughs> no, it's a simple question. Well, it's, it's it's hard to promote nonviolence, and then all your shows is promoting violence. But uh, you can't do that because then you got to separate the art from real world. Like everybody knows that that's not what you're supposed to follow. So then you have to throw in music. You have to throw in everything that represents anybody as a negative then. Because I could tell you stop shooting guns, but I can entertain you like, okay, this is the, the life of what happened. Because like BMF is a perfect example of them doing all this craziness and then getting locked up. Like they didn't make it out. They lost people left and right. It's not a show glorifying like they made it out good, unscathed. Like that might be a better show for somebody from the hood to look like, oh shit. They was up at one point and then they all they fell down. They came down. They got locked up. This is how it fell apart. This is you know, they, they start seeing like, okay, it's not always, you know, peaches and roses so and stuff like that. Stop the shooting because you can't end up like this. That's what you basically saying. Well, like the BMF show, yes. The other, he has some other shows that kind of glorify it a little bit that, that doesn't show kind of the true story. But you know those are not based on real stories. Those are just mm-hmm. made up. But the BMF is based on a real story. So it's kind of like he can say that and, and then show you, the, like, well, watch BMF. you seen homie lost his cousin. He lost this connect. He did. He's going through all of this. And then in the end, he get locked up and lose everything anyway. Is it worth it? You get what I'm saying? Absolutely. So it's it. But – you know, like who said it? <laughs> the problem solve a kid, and I'm not even gonna say no names. They said they got the dropouts keeping kids in school. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's one of the realest things. Like somebody that didn't that that didn't drop out and is like, listen, they're struggling to get a job. This that that that. Stay so, in school because they so, know exactly what you're going through. So it's funny that you said that because the reason why Fifty is really trying to step in and get involved with that. Is because people from Chicago actually reached out to him mm. and said, because of your media and your shows, you would be a good fit to step in and be an example. So it actually says, hold on, Junior Leader um, received a mixed reaction. Hold on, this is some social media pointing to his own musical and creative content as promotion of the Zach Crimes he's relaying against. Others, such as one Instagram user with ties to the Shottown community urged 50 to personally step in and assist in their organization 
effort to curb crime within the city. So it seemed like people got mixed views. Some people is looking at his shows and what he has. Yo, bro, you can't be a culture vulture, bro. You know what I mean? You got to. If you making any type of money on somebody's city, you know what I mean? Where they from? 50's making a bag off that show, bro. He's in a city, bro. Mm -hmm. You should do something. Now, you not some... Ain't nobody telling you you got to be the hero. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, even you ain't even got to really spend no money if you don't want to, but just putting that out there, being an advocate for it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Making a couple appearances, signing some stuff, giving some stuff away for free. You know what I mean? Helping out. You know what I mean? Every it is gonna take a lot more than fifty to shout rack problem. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know I mean, but that's a good start. Nothing wrong with that because he I, he got three seasons in a city, bro. You yeah. gotta get that together. Like fifth, I know you ain't fifth. Ain't like that though. I know fifth. Yeah. You know what I mean, then, that's probably like, what I'm talking about. The shot. Like what? But then when you look at a show like the shot, it doesn't promote that like that. Yeah, and the shot is always, but the shot employs the people from. The city, Chicago, so that's, that's yeah. fire. Like they give yeah. like lighting, all them people that's behind the scenes and stuff like that, they from the shot, so that's lit. But yeah. you know what I mean? A show like I don't know a 50 doing that. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, listen, anything to help. See, uh, look. Yeah, shout out to Fifth Foot at though. The shot is really in the hood. Just yeah. to clear. Like when they shoot, they they in the hood. But yeah. I don't know if, if he got Tommy in the like that. I don't know. You're not. <laughs> I don't know, my dad. You know what I mean? I don't know. You know what I mean? 